Hi guys and welcome back. So today, hold on. Hold on. Hi guys and welcome back. So today we are going to try So Field Roast has a cheese called Chayo. I think I, I hope I said it right. I've actually tried their cheese and their cheese is pretty good and I love the way it melts. So this is their creamy mac and chayo. Because of course they're using their cheese. <laughs> um what I did was I just followed don't mind the TV. I just followed the directions. Unfortunately, they only had directions to um, microwave it so we had to microwave it and see in the bottom I see it's vegan and it says it obviously there too and we know filled roast is a vegan brand or a plant based brand so now this is what the cheese looks like that's what it looks like after it came out the microwave it sat for a little while oh well so I made them with some mushroom steaks and or some fried mushrooms. Um, the portobello tops cut because I didn't. I guess because I didn't cook it with you guys, I'm not gonna eat terrarium. I honestly think that I probably could have seasoned them more, but I didn't want them to be too salty. So next time, maybe when I cook them with you guys, I'll season it more. Mm. I haven't had their brand. I haven't had, I haven't had their brand and cheese in a while, so I'm not sure if it tastes just like the cheese, but it's really cheesy. I got no dry noodles. Honestly, I feel like they could have gave me more, but here's the kicker. The box, the box, the back of the box says that it's for two servings. So you expected me to share this? That's barely enough for one serving. I only took one bite. Look. Okay, I lied. I took two bites, but look. You're telling me this is enough for two people? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. It's really good. It's really cheesy. It kind of tastes funny. I'm not sure if um I gotta buy their cheese again and see if it tastes um the same. It's not bad. It's really it's okay. It's really cheesy. It's just kind of has a funny aftertaste. Alright, oh, delicious cheesy sauce made from original creamy or creamy original child slices. So they probably used mass slices of cheese. It's pretty good. It's not bad. It's okay. It's very tolerable. It's just I don't know. I'm used to mac and cheese one type of way. So with this is I mean and it's microwavable, so for microwavable mac and cheese, it's pretty good. You know what I'm going to try to do? I'm going to buy your cheese and make um, my own mac and cheese with it and see if it tastes the same or if it tastes better. Hopefully it tastes better because to me, it's missing something. Or not missing something. Rich Craft Cheesy Sauce. I don't know, the cheese to me has a weird, I don't want to say a real aftertaste, but like a weird taste. Let's just put it like that. It's not weird like an ill gross weird, but it's a weird like, what is that? But it's really tolerable. It's really good. And the cheese, while I'm sitting here trying to figure out what it tastes like, I already ate half of it. Look, I don't want to flip the camera again. Like two thirds of it. And how the hell was this supposed to be for two? Is what I want to know. 
Maybe it's supposed to be Monster Valley Cheese. I don't know. I'm gonna try to make my own and see if it tastes better. Well, as I eat the last corner of this, as always, thank you for tuning in with me on the Really Picky Vegan. And if you haven't already, please like, follow, subscribe, and make sure you share my page with your friends because you never know who's truly interested in what vegans can eat besides a salad. And I got creamy mac and cheese that came from the microwave. It's pretty good. It's pretty cheesy. Unfortunately, there's not enough to share. Mm -hmm. And for a roast for the win. Until next time, guys. Bye.